So, one of the funniest church experiences I've ever had, and obviously my dad being a pastor, I was there all the time. So the more you're any one place, the more likely you're gonna see everyday occurrences and weird things taking place in that, you know, you, you think about school. And as you grow up school, all, you got all these funny stories from school, right? So I got a bunch of stories. One I wanna share with you today is, uh, <laughs> um, I remember specifically one time I was about 14 years old and uh, we were in revival and there was an evangelist there with us that week. And this evangelist was very charismatic. He was very uh, outspoken. He was a dynamic individual. Um, he was really big in the word of faith. And literally, um, and when I say literally, he was a literal individual. Um, you can say this and literally have that, and do this and literally do that. And, and so we were in the altar <laughs> on a specific night. And, you know, he was laying hands on everybody. You know, this guy, whatever your need was, right? You got a fever, you got a stubbed toe, uh, your, your, your bills are stacked too high. Uh, your, your auntie and your other auntie are feuding. Let's lay hands on you, that kind of deal. And so he probably laid hands on a good 30, 40 people. And I mean, he was the type of cat. He didn't just, you know, when I pray for somebody, I get a little oil on the thumb or finger and anoint. This cat's hands were dripping <laughs> with anointing oil. And uh, we had a good guy in our church. He worked hard to serve the church, great man. Uh, but he had a small vice in his life. Um, and he'd only been saved for a couple of years, but he had been a smoker for over 20 years. And uh, he had talked about it, so he was his faith was so increased by this evangelist laying hands on people and believing, even for the small things, you know. Uh, so he comes up and the evangelist says, Brother, what is it? What do you need God to do? And he says, I'm just so tired of smoking cigarettes. I don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore. I, I've tried to quit. And I'm tired. I don't want to smoke anymore. And he said, do you mean it? And he said, yeah. And he said, raise your hands, man. He said, open your mouth. He opened his mouth and said, stick your tongue out. He stuck his tongue out. And he takes and put oil on his hands, uh -huh. and he literally slaps the man's tongue like a uh -huh. lamb, mm -hmm. and goes to praying for him. The problem is, when it first happens, the guy don't kind of realize. He's like, "Oh!" But then you see his eyes as he get praying for his eyes shoot open, and you can literally see <laughs> the revelation of, "Wait a minute, this man ain't washed his hands, and he has laid hands uh -huh. all over people's body." There's fun. He's got the. This is the sin hand. This is the sin hand, and he has just touched my tongue after laying hands on all these people. And so all of a sudden, as they're still praying for him, he starts to get it. Because the, the, the image of, oh God, I mean, this guy, this hand, can you imagine? So he's sitting there literally starts going, and as he's doing it, the people, including the evangelist, think he's going through deliverance now. They think he's about to get a devil cast out of him. But he's not, he's not having anything like that. He's literally just gagging because you touched his hand, his tongue, with your nasty hand. So he's, uh, uh, and they go to pray and cast him off devils. And the guy didn't have any kind of demonic possession, but he's sitting there praying. So obviously I'm a 14 year old preacher's kid. I've seen a lot of great things in church, a lot of serious things, but I'm not gonna miss out on having a front row seat to this comedy show that I'm getting to watch. So I'm literally doubled over laughing out loud. They can't hear me because back then you had praise great music, it was loud, but I'm literally dying laughing over there watching this guy. And after about 10 minutes, they ain't getting no devil's cats out. They're wondering what's wrong. On their side, they're thinking, well, he was gagging. There was stuff trying to come out. Why didn't it come out? Do we lack authority? And he's thinking, well, they started casting devils out. I mean, did I have a devil in me? All because a dirty sin hand of an evangelist wiped his tongue and it made him sick to his stomach, literally thinking about it. Uh, and the funniest part of this is that on fire gung-ho evangelist is a man I like to call and know uh, lovingly as now pastor. First of all, you're not finna base my tongue like it's like it's a holiday turkey. No, not not a little hit, literally. Open your mouth. And he rubbed it. He rubbed it down his tongue. He didn't just slap it. It was like a. Ha! And he's like, no. 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 And so at that point, I'm like, and you know I'm a different fellow. Like I can't believe this man has laid hands on 40 people. He's touched underarms, knees, heads, and, and he just took his hand and rubbed it on the man's. And I know I believe in things being sacred and anointed. 